like it here. But it's great to live in like a, a, a relatively shitty neighborhood. Like I loved living there. I had no money and you can still have fun with no money, especially in kind of a bad neighborhood because you can play fun games that you make up yourself. Like I made up a fun game. I called it uh, Match the Apartment with the Wandering Infant. <laughs> That was fun. That's really fun. I think that's what they mean by if you love something, let it go, right? Just <laughs> let it go down the stoop, down the block. <laughs> I used to like lie about how nice my neighborhood was. I'd be giving people directions to my apartment. I'd be like, oh yeah, and if you can't find a spot on the street, just uh, park behind the check cashing store and run. <laughs> but don't run like you're scared. <laughs> run like you're jogging because they smell fear. They're like bees with cornrows. <laughs> that is not a racist statement. I think we all know that white people can have cornrows. And I personally would be much more afraid of a white guy in cornrows. <laughs> than a black guy in cornrows, <laughs> right? Because a white guy in cornrows is basically looking right at you and saying, hey, I don't know the difference between right and wrong. <laughs> I did this to myself. Um, I love working at night. I love this. This is the best. I love that I'm at my job and you're just watching me do my job, which is weird. Because um, I get to watch TV during the day. I get to watch daytime TV, which is the best TV there ever was. I like uh, all the uh, talk shows. I love the Maury Povich. That's my favorite. That is the gold standard, in my opinion. And uh, I don't even, it's not, not even the paternity episodes. I think the paternity episodes are hacky. <laughs> hacky. We all love them. Fine, good. You know, throw it away. I like the episodes where people can't control their teenagers, so they bring them on to Maury <laughs> to fix their lives or something, right? It's never, by the way, it's never been two parents in like sweater vests going like, we don't know what happened, so could you just give us a hand? It's never that, it's always the same thing. It's a single mom, she's in a weird like methadone haze. <laughs> you know, there's needles still dangling out of her arm. She's like, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. And you just want to shake her and go, you did everything wrong. Everything from keeping it till now, you wronged. Wrong, 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 wrong. And now there's a whore in your house and that's how life works, right? 